What's up everybody, it's your boy Takedown Man, and I'm just on here real quick to let you guys know that uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be using my camera too much tonight, as you can see it's already kind of getting all hazy on here and stuff, the humidity out is really bad, and um, either way though, I hope you enjoy this episode of the Hidden Internet Exploring the Deep Web, We've got all kinds of UFOs, uh, UFO stuff to conspiracy theories, hacks and whatnot. So, uh, check it out, and I hope you enjoy. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Takedown Man. Coming back at you with another episode. Sorry, I do not have my webcam on tonight. It is a humid night, and all you would see is a bunch of dew from the humidity out here in Florida. It is uh, very humid out here. But either way, we're going to go ahead and get started tonight because I have everything from conspiracy theory links all the way to UFO links. And uh, I think. For the most part, most of my conspiracy theorists slash UFO people will enjoy this episode. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Maldives Links. And is what Maldives Leaks is, is a small anonymous unmoderated space where sources can disclose information and documents to the public. We believe in complete and total transparency is vital to effective democratic governance. And of course, they have a quote from Edward Snowden here. And uh, then they're going to have like the latest uploads. And the one thing I have noticed is they don't have a whole lot of uploads yet. And you're going to have to excuse the background noise because Lord knows it. Yeah, I've been trying to get it going, but it just won't. So now, this right here so far is their only uploads. However, they are interesting reads. However, there is a submission place on the first page at the top and bottom here. And on the bottom is the best way to do it. Now, take heed to the warning, though, that they do try to keep your anonymity intact. However, you may end up uploading something that identifies you, so make sure you do not. Always make sure you check over everything before you do. And that's why they put this warning down here for you. All right, so, like I said, everything here will be in the description, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. The next one is WikiLeaks. If you guys know what WikiLeaks is then um well you're good to go however for those who don't know wikileaks is something that started out basically outing the cia and all their little crap that they were doing to people however it has since grown into something pretty damn enormous as you can see here they have info and intel on everybody the site is always being rebuilt it seems like because it's going down and back up down and back up However, you can always type something that you're looking for right here, or you can go to the side and click one of the links, or you can click on a story and find out what's going on in the world. Now, they're always looking for people to help support them. They're looking for donations. They're looking for people to help write up the articles, um, just everything in general. Now, WikiLeaks has an onion, and they also have a site on the surface web for everybody who's going to go, well, do the site on the surface web, too. Well, yes, there is a site on the surface web. Um, hoorah for you. All right, guys, so pretty much that's it, though, for that one. That's WikiLeaks. Now, we're going to go on to the next one. The next one is called WI, and as what they are, it is a secure and anonymous platform for human rights videos. This basically says, like, if you see the police or government or somebody like that doing something wrong, you want to get the video uploaded, is what you do. You share it with these guys. These guys share it to different platforms. And people can see the injustice that's being done by the government, police, and whatnot. So that's what WI is. Right here is the link for them. And, um, yeah, pretty much, though, guys, is what that is, is just... It's just an uploading platform, pretty much. So, But people who are in other countries and the U.S. both can use this and use it very well. As you know, there's a lot of corruption out there. So, yeah, feel free. And unfortunately, these people are distracting. Okay. Next one up is Archive of Sony Leaked 
files by uh, GOP. So let's go ahead and go to the file listings. And as what they have have here is just a lot of info and a lot of intel. This is all the tech stuff. Um, and you can see it's quite a bit. Barely a tenth of the way of the page down. So I'm not going to go through it all. However, I just wanted you to kind of see what's on there. So that you'll know. Um, torrents. Let's go to torrents. So let's go here. Oh, no, I do not want to download. But yes. So there you go. But that's pretty much what it is, guys. It is all the leaked files from Sony during the Sony hacks. So if you're interested in it, you can always check out this here. The link will be in the description as well. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go check this one out here. This is Hack Canada. For those of you who don't know, Hack Canada started out just kind of like going off about telco, different hacks and whatnot. And then it just kind of turned into a big political thing. And it has a lot of very, very useful info. And it stays pretty up to date more than most of the other sites out there. That's one thing I can say. They constantly stay on track with stuff. And I want you guys to see what I'm talking about here. Because this right here, and I'm going to put the links for the... um hack canada site as well as the direct link for this here to ufo files index site because i know a lot of you guys would like to uh check all this out now these are all zip files that you have to download and some of them are pretty big so be sure not to download it onto your actual computer um whenever you download something like this if you download something like this which i advise against but people can download if they want to Make sure that you download it onto something that is not on your computer, like a thumb drive or whatever. And always make sure you are disconnected from the internet whenever you open it. That's about the best advice I can give you on that. But as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff here about it. So, and, and this is more for the UFO guys who keep asking me. But Hack Canada has a lot of stuff on it. So, that's kind of why I wanted to... Uh, I'll bring it up for you guys. Um, there's a lot of things on here, though. And I know that there was, at one point in time, had, like, phone numbers and stuff like that for, like, Kim Kardashian and, and everything else. And Donald Rumsfeld and the president. And, yeah, actually had all their stuff. Oh, lovely. Binding social commentary. Yeah, no. I don't want that shit. Get off of here. Okay, so... Pretty much, though, this is what it is. It is a very cool site, as you can see. And there is so much more. There is actually a lot of stuff on this site. If um, you're interested in checking it out for educational purposes, then feel free to. However, take the disclaimer at heart, because this is the same disclaimer pretty much I have. That the information on the site is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended to encourage or teach you to break the law. That is what TV is for. The creators of this website will not be held liable for anything you choose to do with the information contained on this site. If you want to learn how to rape, murder, loot, commit acts of terror, or on a monumental scale, well, you won't find it here. Instead, tune in to your nightly news and take a lesson from your elected leaders. That might actually be my disclaimer from now on. I actually like that disclaimer. But either way, though, guys, this is your boy, Takedown Man, just saying thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all my videos. And, um, yeah, guys, I will be back on probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, and uh, hopefully we will see you there. Peace out. Mahalo.